That was so bad, though. Yeah. So bad. That wasn't just a bounce of a ball. That was so bad. Odell that called it earlier this hour is right, though. There's You could have called, I mean, you know, a, a legal touching the football as well when it, when it happened. But that was, and they're talking about the officiating in yesterday's AFC and NFC championship games, and it was horrible in both games. But really, well, yeah, in both games. The uh, blown no pass interference call against the Saints. Uh, you guys that watched the game, you saw all of the blown calls and the no calls. The the one that was one of the worst to me was the helmet. Let's see, was it? Can't remember which game, damn it. But it was basically, a, I think they called roughing the passer or hands to the head or whatever when the referee that blew the or threw the flag was standing behind the quarterback. And all that happened was the defender's hand just very ever so slightly grazed his face mask. Who was that called against? God, I can't believe I'm forgetting that. But anyway, you guys line me up down in the comments. I think it was called against the Chiefs on Brady. Ah, hell, I can't remember. Anyway, other than that, that was two great, great, great conference championship games yesterday, and both of the wrong teams won as far as who I was pulling for. But most likely... A tennis, well, definitely a former Tennessee player is going to get a Super Bowl ring out of this because there was at least one on all four teams. Uh, the Patriots, Tom Brady, oh my God. You know, when the Chiefs went ahead with 203 to go, and me and my roommate, we were both excited because, like everybody else that's not a Patriots fan, you're just tired of it. And you're tired of seeing the Patriots win all the time. I looked at him, I was like, dude. 2.03 to go on the clock. All three timeouts. They're winning this game. Oh, no, no, no. And then here comes Brady. If there's ever any question about whether or not that dude is the GOAT or not, the last two or three people that were undecided probably had their minds made up yesterday. Just drive after drive. Play after play. Third down after third down. After about two or three third down conversions on that uh, overtime drive, and I'll get to overtime, I told I told John, I said, man, they need to just take a knee on first and second down and go straight to third down. They couldn't do shit on first and second down, but third and 10, third and 15, third and 12, third and 20, third and whatever, it was an automatic first down with Edelman most of the time. But Gronk, who played a huge role in yesterday's game, talked about the officiating, talked about the two great games. I hate it for Breeze. I don't know if he'll get another chance like he had this year to get a, another Super Bowl ring. But it is what it is. Congratulations to the Rams and to the Patriots for making it to the Super Bowl. We all know how hard that is to do. Overtime. Man, the NFL overtime is ass. And, and I'll, nobody will change my mind on that until they change the way it's done. The overtime still basically boils down to whoever wins the coin toss. And I know people are going to say, well, no, the Chiefs had a chance to play defense. Yeah, they did. But how was that game going in the fourth quarter? Both teams were scoring every time they had the ball. 30-some points in the fourth quarter. NFL playoff record for points scored in a quarter. I don't understand why if you score a touchdown on the first possession, you win the game. But if you only get a field goal, the other team gets a chance. What the hell is that? Who, who thought that shit up? Whose idea was that? And who are the dumbasses that agreed with it? Makes no sense whatsoever to me, and you will not change my... Somebody in the, in the comments, change my mind on that. Tell me why that's a good way to do it. And granted, it is better than... It is better than the way it was before. You know, because before, all you had to do if you got the ball first was kick a field goal and you won it. Why does it... 
matter whether you score a touchdown or a field goal on the first possession. The, the referees even say both teams will get a chance to possess the ball unless the team that gets the ball first scores a touchdown. No sense whatsoever. I still say the NFL overtime should either be keep it like it is and play till you get a winner, even in the regular season. There should never be a friggin' tie in any sport. But play till you get a winner and make it where both teams get a chance to possess the ball. If the first team get, that gets the ball drives down and kicks a chip shot field goal, the other team gets a chance to score or to possess the ball. If the team do, if the team that gets the ball first does like the Patriots yesterday and they drive down the field converting third down after third down and they score a touchdown, the other team should get a chance to possess the ball. Period. Or change it to the college way of overtime, but back them up to say the 50 when they start instead of the 25. I think they should do that in college too. That would eliminate all these eight overtime games. Granted, eight overtime games in college are exciting as hell, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, congratulations to Brady and the Patriots and Belichick and and all those guys. They just keep on year after year, game after game, playoff after playoff, basically giving people a big F you. And you got to respect that. You don't have to like it, but you got to respect that. So hats off to the Pats. I guess I've got to pull for the Rams. I don't like to pull for a divisional team. But I will just because I want to see somebody else win it. Granted, the, the Pats didn't win it last year. And I think they probably will win it this year. That, that, that's going to be my pick. I picked the Patriots to win it. And Tom Brady rides off into the sunset a Super Bowl champion. That's my prediction. Go Vols. Tennessee plays Vandy this week. Great win against Bama this weekend. They keep on rolling. 